The ancient Egyptians' attitude towards death was influenced by their belief in immortality. They regarded death as a temporary interruption rather than the cessation of life. To ensure the continuity of life after death, people paid homage to the gods both during and after their life on earth. When they died, they were mummified so the soul would return to the body, giving it breath and life. Household equipment and food and drink were placed on offering tables outside the tomb's burial chamber to provide for the person's needs in the afterworld. Written funerary texts consisting of spells or prayers were also included to assist the dead on their way to the afterworld. That's nonsense, you might think. You can't take anything with you once you die. <laughs> However, many people live their lives and manage their material possessions as if they were going to take it with them in an afterlife. In Testimonies to the Church, Volume 1, Ellen White noted that it is frequently the case that aged persons are unwilling to realize and acknowledge that their mental strength is failing. They shorten their days by taking care which belongs to their children. Satan often plays upon their imagination and leads them to feel a continual anxiety in regard to their money. It is their idol, and they hoard it with miserly care. They will sometimes deprive themselves of many of the comforts of life and labor beyond their strength, rather than use the means which they have. In this way, they place themselves in continual want, through fear that sometime in the future they shall want. So it really seems to be a delicate balancing act. In our old age, we are not supposed to hoard our wealth, but also not be irresponsible by being financially disorganized. But we also shouldn't deprive ourselves of basic comforts, nor should we deprive ourselves just to leave a big inheritance to our children. That's a lot to consider all at once. There's a statement in Monday's lesson that caught my attention. It says that regardless of how much or how little we may have in terms of worldly possessions, estate planning can be our final act of stewardship, of carefully managing what God has blessed us with. Having your affairs in order is not something to think about on your deathbed. Some practical questions to think about as part of our final act of stewardship are, who will inherit my worldly possessions? If it's my children or family, do they need all of it? Or could I bless other organizations and charities or causes through my giving? If I leave my possessions to my family, will they know how to administer? Or will they squander it away? And if they do, should I leave them everything? As Paul writes to Timothy in 1 Timothy 6 verse 7, For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And that is our nugget for today. I'll see you tomorrow.